Now let's quickly look at the basics surrounding your abs workout. For beginners, in the first two weeks, reps should be between 10 and 15. After this period, trainees should aim for failure on exercises where possible. With failure, you will perform as many repetitions as possible until you find performing one more repetition impossible. When you do this, you will have reached 100% level of intensity. This also means that the ab muscles involved in the exercise have been worked to momentary muscular failure and have been stimulated to an optimum level. Should you stop short by a few repetitions of intensity, then you will not reach MMF and you will have stopped short of the threshold leading to abdominal growth and development. In a nutshell, intensity and contraction is the key to success here. Reach it and you will force your ab muscles to grow. Fall short of it and the muscles will have no stimulus to grow on. Remember, abdominals are like any other muscle group in the body and should not be treated any differently. Therefore, we suggest working out one ab group per workout. Okay, let's first split them into three sections, the upper abs, the lower abs and side obliques. The reason we break up each area into its own workout is that just like any other muscle group, the abdominal muscles need rest in order to develop. Therefore, working one area of the abdominal wall will provide seven full days of recuperation and development time. Let's quickly look at an example of how your ab routine will look. Mondays could be your upper abs day, Wednesdays your lower abs, and Fridays will be your side obliques. Each workout will consist of three exercises specifically selected to target the abdominal muscles. Once you've followed your ab workouts for four weeks, you can move up to our advanced and intermediate exercises, which you will find in the advanced workout section at the end of this DVD. Okay, enough of the education part of this DVD. Let's move on to the actual workout now. Welcome to the upper abdominal workout. What we are going to do is teach you the workout structure, show you the abdominal exercises you need to do and how to perform them correctly and then reveal some tips and tricks to make sure your workouts are more effective. You can then take this information and perform these workouts wherever and whenever you need to. Let's start with the workout structure. You will perform three different exercises. You will perform each of the three exercises in a row straight after each other. This means you will perform exercise one to failure, then without rest move on to exercise two and perform it to failure, and then move on to the third exercise and perform it to failure. You will then rest for one minute and repeat the routine. You will repeat the routine three times. You will perform each exercise to failure or at least 10 to 15 repetitions if you are a beginner or if it's your first two weeks. You will only do one abdominal area per day. Now let's look at the exercises that will be performed in this workout. Your first exercise is traditional crunches. Now most of you know this exercise. You can do it with your hands behind your back, on your chest or on your upper thighs. You come up, contract your abdominal area and then go back, but make sure you don't go all the way back to the floor and keep the tension on your abdominal area. The next exercise is decline crunches. Make sure that when you come up, you keep the tension on your abdominal area and when you go down, you do exactly the same and don't go all the way into a relaxing state or lie down on the bench. Make sure when you come to the top part of the exercise, you don't go all the way to the top, but only crunch the abdominal area and then move back down. The next exercise is weighted crunches. Here we add a little bit of weight in the form of a dumbbell or a medicine ball just to increase the intensity a little bit. You can come up similar to a traditional crunch and contract your abdominal area and then go back down. Once again, make sure you do not go all the way back down and keep the tension on your abdominal area. Let's lastly look at the tips and tricks that will make your workouts more effective. Make sure you contract your abdominal muscles with each repetition. Do not relax after each repetition or go all the way back to a relaxing position. Keep the tension on the muscles you are exercising. Exchange the exercises if the routine is too hard or easy with more or less intense exercises that can be found in the exercise index section at the end of this DVD. Increase the intensity of your workout every single week. 
Make sure that after the first two weeks you train each exercise to muscular failure. If you fail to do so, you will fall short of the stimulation that is needed to improve and grow your muscles and you will see little or no results. Good luck and enjoy your workout!